KS, the Saturday Night 610, and I thought I'd go ahead and do a ban list prediction video. A lot of people have been wanting me to do this video for a while, so I kind of uh, put together a ban list, and I thought I would uh, go ahead and make a video about it. So yeah, these are just my opinions on things that might get banned, limited, semi-limited, and I even have one card that maybe might get unbanned. And uh, so yeah, uh, tell me what you guys think, of course, in, in the comments, and uh, what cards you think will get limited or banned, you know, if I don't have them on the list, or if you agree with me or disagree. So yeah, anyway, for the semi-limited cards, which will be, you know, you can only use two per advanced format deck, is what this is, for people that don't know, uh, I'm thinking Pod Duality will go down to two. I know that seems weird, but I just kind of think somehow it's going to get hit. I don't know if it's going to get limited. I mean, it's either going to be semi-limited or limited for some reason is what I'm thinking. Uh, the reason I'm thinking this is because it's now easier to get. And it kind of seems like what happened with Crush Card Virus, a high dollar card uh, being reprinted. And then is it going to get hit by the list at all? You know, it just kind of makes me wonder. That's why I'm thinking semi-limit, which should do pretty good against it. I mean, most people, I think, well, everyone uses three of these in any deck, or just about if they have them, of course, because they're still pretty expensive right now. Until this comes out, and the tens, they're going to be sort of expensive. I know they've gone down drastically, though, too, though, since the reprint has been announced. So, yeah, um, two might hurt them a little, you know, make, make it where they're not as, you know, used in everything. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking that somehow they're going to get hit. It, or they might not get touched at all, but I just have that weird feeling that somehow it just seems too easy for us to get a, a high dollar card. Uh, Mizuki. I'm thinking this because uh, zombies look like they're going to be pretty good next format. There's a uh, pain painter and stuff, and so I'm thinking maybe Konami will want to get zombies back out there. And by making this a semi-limit, because it's limited right now, so then if it's semi-limited and made it back to two, it would really help out zombie decks and make them really, really evil. Because uh, this card makes zombies just really powerful. So yeah, it's just kind of my opinion. I wonder if you know this will make it where, since we have Pain Painter and all, they'll just want uh, zombies to make a quick comeback. Gladiator Beast Bestiari. Right now it's at one. Uh, I'm just thinking that it might go up to two because uh, it seems like there's a lot of reprints coming out for Gladiator Beast. There's been a lot of new cards for Gladiator Beast. So I'm just kind of wondering. It's kind of me thinking maybe this format, you know, they're going to try to give them a chance and let them be, you know one of the big tournament winning decks now. You know, if uh, they got Bestiari at two, I think Glare Beast might have enough power to end up being one of the top decks. Right now, it's still pretty strong Glare Beast. I believe they're, I would say they're around tier two, around in there. But uh, with the second Bestiari, that would really help them out, and I think then they would be around tier one. That's my opinion on that. Um, so yeah, I would love to see Glare Beast become powerful again, though. Formula Synchron. I know two seems weird because um, most people probably use two. I know whenever I use this card, I normally use two. Uh, but I just don't think it's going to get limited for some reason. And I really don't think it's going to get banned. I've heard, heard a few people say that, and it's not that evil to get banned. Uh, it's, I'm thinking for some reason it's either going to be you know not touched at all, it'll just stay at three, or it will go to two. Uh, it's really not that broken of a card, though. I mean, the main thing that makes this card really evil is uh, cards like Hyper Librarian, so it's not really its fault, you know. So yeah, though, I'm, I'm just thinking it might go to two, especially it being one of Yusei's main cards, and uh, that being a big deal right now in the anime for kids and stuff, I just don't know if they're going to want to hit it, because usually they, they don't usually do that to cards that the main character uses too often, especially main ones. Limited, now these are all the ones that I think will go down to one. Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice has become a big draw engine card uh, for just about every deck now. And it's pretty powerful now. I mean, really a lot of people act like it's a bad thing that you have to select five monster cards and put them to from your graveyard and put them into the deck. But really that ends up making this card a lot better. So basically this is a better version, in my opinion, of Pot of Greed these days. I mean, you know, because you get to bring back some of your cards that are gone now to the deck and you get to draw two. It's just really good. And most decks these days, whether they mill or, you know, just synchro summon swarm the field or whatever a lot, they will have those monsters in the graveyard fairly easily. And uh, especially if you use a deck that synchro summons a lot and stuff, like even TGs, you can return those uh, synchros back to the extra deck, you know, if you choose them, which instead of, of course, the deck, they go to the extra deck for people that might not know that. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good card. And I could see it going down to one. TG Hyper Librarian, or Tech Genus Hyper Librarian, or whatever you prefer to call it. Um, I just don't think this is going to be banned. A lot of people saying ban, ban, ban. I just don't see it. One, I don't think will be broken at all because uh, 
really. I mean, if someone happens to summon it these days, you could easily, you know, bottomless trap hole it or something. So really, one isn't too scary. And I see this happening. If it gets hit at all, I, I just really think it's going to get limited banned. Uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's that broken to get banned. You know, and it's really not a big threat when it's at one. Now, at two or three, I understand what people are talking about, but just one, it's just... It, I think it will be much better and a lot less broken. Solemn Warning. Uh, really, I don't have the best reason for this. I know this is just kind of one of the random cards I just put on this list. It's mainly because I want the price to go down, and really, that might not happen even if it is limited, because for some reason, last time when it was semi-limited, you know, where you could just use two, uh, the card actually went up in value, which is crazy. So yeah, I'm wondering, uh, will this card become cheaper if it did happen to get limited? It would be awesome if somehow it got limited and like you could use uh, two Solemn Judgment instead. They just kind of reversed them. Now I think that would be really cool, but I doubt that would happen. That's the reason I didn't put Solemn Judgment in the semi-limited. But uh, yeah, I would just kind of like this card to get hit because it's way too expensive, mainly. I mean, I, like I said, this really isn't a good reason to have on here, but uh, I just kind of did that. <laughs> Lone Fire Blossom. Plants are pretty evil. This card has always been fairly evil. And uh, with it at one, it will, of course, pretty much really kill the plant engine. But uh, I think this is just really likely to happen for some reason. I don't personally think plants are, you know, just too scary, although they're used in most decks nowadays. But um, I, I can just see this happening for some reason. So, yeah, that's the reason I think that. I've always liked the artwork of it, too. Trishula. This is probably the one that we do know is going to get limited no matter, because it's already in the OCG, which is Japanese and stuff, uh, it's already limited to one, but whenever we got it, they never limited it. So, of course, we pretty much say already that it's going to be limited for us, because our ban list does go with the Japanese ban list. So, yeah, that's the reason that once the ban list comes out, this will get limited. This is the only one I can say is a for sure thing. Unless somehow, you know, in the next ban list, the Japanese one, you know, they do something weird, but if it stays, you know, of course, limited in Japan, it will be limited here, which I don't think they would ever change that to anything else, because Trishula is pretty powerful. Super Polymerization. This is more of a random card I kind of threw in, because uh, heroes are going to be pretty evil, especially with the new cards they're getting from Generation Force and all. Uh, I can see this becoming a pain for most people, and being limited down to one, because, I mean, you can take a, one of your opponent's monsters these days, and just, uh, fusion into it, and it's just, uh, it's going to be a pretty evil card, especially, you know, since we're getting, I think we've almost got uh, a hero for every attribute, we're just missing, I mean, we're going to get Great Tornado soon, we have the light one, we have the water ones, I'm not going to name their actual names, I'm just going by their attributes, and yeah, and we also just got the fire one from a Generation Force, so we're missing the dark one, which will get printed sometime soon, and uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty evil this card is. I mean, so it's going to be able to be used in any deck, and uh, it's just going to be a really powerful card, and I just have that feeling that for some reason it might get hit. At least one. Banned list. See, this is the part, you know, the cards I think will actually just go to banned. Giant Trunade. The card's pretty powerful. It can uh, help with OTKs, I mean, all kinds of different strategies, and uh, it can really cripple your opponent if they have a lot of spells and traps you can just activate that. It's sort of like the new cold wave or something, you know, is the best way I can explain it. So yeah, it's it's pretty powerful. So I could see it getting banned. A lot of people I think are saying this is gonna get banned as well. So yeah, that's just what I kinda think. And Monster Reborn. Uh, the reason I think this is just because it seems like usually this card happens to get unbanned and banned a lot. And uh, that's one of the reasons, but the other is there are so many cards that special summon from the graveyard these days and all kinds of other special summon cards. I, I just kind of see this card getting uh, banned for that reason as well. Since we do have a lot more options now, back in the day, you know, it wouldn't make so much sense, but now there's so many options to special summon from the graveyard and just special summoning in general that mm, it's really not too needed anymore. And it's kind of, you know, I could see it just getting hit. Now for a card that might get unbanned, I believe everyone's saying this, and I guess I'm going to jump on the bandwagon on that, is a Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. He's really not as broken as he used to be. I believe it's because the, uh, correct me if I'm wrong too in the comments, but it's the priority rulings that are uh, getting taken off now since the Exceeds are coming out. So really, this card isn't as broken as it was. And it would be really awesome to see this card, because I always like this card. The artwork's amazing. 
The name is amazing. I mean, this is one of the best cards ever created, I think. I wish the dragon would be also unbanned, but of course, you know, Chaos Emperor Dragon is, I think, broken no matter how they change the rulings, really, on that card. Um, but yeah, though, I really hope this card gets unbanned. I think that's one of the reasons, too, that it was reprinted in the gold. I mean, we've had other cards that have gotten reprinted even though they're banned. I mean, if you think about the Kaiba pack, uh, all those cards that were printed in the Ultimate that were already banned. Uh, but for some reason, I just feel like this one, that might be, you know, kind of one of the reasons it was. So yeah, uh, if it does get unbanded, I'm thinking it's just going to be limited to one, though. So yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's all the cards I have listed. Uh, these are just my opinions on it. I mean, I could be completely wrong or right on correct, or just, you know, some of these might be correct or whatever. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I know a lot of people were requesting this video, and I'm, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you have, like I said, any opinions on the list, what you think, or whatever, or if you have a video you made over this, leave that as a video response. To leave a video response to, all you gotta do is click like you're leaving a comment. You know, you click on the box where you're, and when you're about to type something, and then it should be like over to the right, it'll say post video response. So if you want to do that, you can do that easily. I don't know why they made posting video response harder on YouTube these days, but oh well. I'm not going to get in a rant on that. So yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out everything in the description, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, eBay store. I put some new stuff in the eBay store. I believe now I will be able to ship internationally, so I have a lot of people that were complaining on that. So... I think I set everything up correctly on that, so be sure to check that out if you want to uh, buy a few cards from me. You know, if you want to, whatever, you know, whatever's easy. And, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Bye, guys, and please subscribe. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed my latest video. For more great videos over Yu-Gi-Oh!, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out the description to see my Facebook account, and also see my website, cyrus.com, for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! news. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.